Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm out on Lake Lanier, which has been really tough for me this year. Last spring, I had a great spring out here, and so far, you know, late winter killed me on Lanier. I hardly, hardly caught anything. Had a bunch of days where I caught one, had a couple days that got skunked, so hopefully we can change that around today. It's officially spring now. I think yesterday was the first day of spring, and I didn't even bring my sonar today. I'm out on my kayak. I'm just fishing shallow all day with the lizard. Um, I watch FCP fishing a lot. He uses a Texas rig lizard, a bunch on the near. I used the last spring because of him, caught a bunch of fish on it. So it's what I'm gonna try to do again today. I did get a late start today. It's already like 9.20. So might've missed the best two hours of fishing for the day, but I think we can still be on some fish. So make sure to stay tuned and hopefully we'll be getting some on that lizard. Oh, I had a bite. Oh, look at that. He bit my tail off. I knew that was a bite. I mean, I don't know, maybe it was a sunfish, who knows. There's a fish, ooh, little guy. Little guy on the lizard. Man, I was starting to lose hope. That guy nailed it when I was kind of turning the boat around. Tiny bass. Well, I woke up late today because I spent a ton of time last night, like, trying to put together a Yak Attack black pack that goes in the back of the kayak. Um, it wasn't that hard to do, it's just, there's a million screws and I was using a screwdriver, not a drill. But anyway, I almost went to the river today because I woke up late and I was starting to think I should have gone to the river. Maybe I still should have, but there we go. Got the skunk out of the boat with that tiny little bass. Well, it's a lot better than getting skunked, but hopefully it's not the last one of the day. I mean, it took about an hour, so. It didn't take a ton of time, but it's only the second bite I've gotten. The first one just bit off the end of my lizard. Probably was another similar size fish. There's one. That's a better fish. Oh, it's not that big, but he's, oh, he's not bad. Yeah, a lot better than that last one, that's for sure. It's only a few minutes later, ooh. It's like a two pounder probably. There we go. Oh man, it's a fighter. I don't even know where, I don't really need the net, I don't think. But, uh, that hurt. Now it's ready. Oh my gosh. All right, I might not know him. Get in the boat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have used the net. Oh my gosh. Just about came out the boat. I flipped him over the entire kayak. Well, how about that? That's a much better fish. Probably around two pounds. Definitely a pre-spawn bass there. He's pretty fat. At least I would think he's got to be with how fat he is. So I don't really know if these guys are bedding yet or what. Well, I'm sure some are in the lake. You know, some are still pre-spawn. So springtime fishing. That's a lot better fish than that tiny one we just caught. Well, it was 17 and a half inches. Don't even have my scale, but... If he was 17 and a half and fat, he's probably more like two and a quarter, two and a half. Solid little uh, spotted bass there. There he goes. I don't know if y'all can still see him. There's a beaver over here. I never really see them on Lanier. It's either that or an otter, but uh, I think it's a beaver. fish on the lizard oh. there we go all right there's a little guy on the lizard I almost turned around because this boat came back in here but I was like I was here first going down the bank so I'm gonna keep going I'm glad I did yeah a little one all right well there's our third fish of the day He's not that big, maybe a pound. Like, I don't even know he's 14 inches long, but a lot better than that first tiny one we caught. So I'll take it, another one on the lizard. My plan was just to throw the lizard all day. And I think that's what I'm gonna stick with. I've thrown the Berkeley coal shot around a tiny bit. You know, it's similar to the mag draft, but I think I'm better off just throwing the lizard. Let him go. All right, well, I was only able to get three fish on the near the other day. 
Uh, another tougher day, but at the same time, was it really tougher? Because most all my days on Lanier this year have been tough. All the days before this, I caught one fish or zero fish. So it's actually a better day of fishing, really. Uh, but for spring, you know, a lot of times you can catch more numbers in the spring. So it wasn't the best day ever. But if I'd been out there earlier at like 7 o'clock instead of like 9.20 or whatever, I probably would have caught at least a couple more fish. But nonetheless, hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it was a shorter video. I've had a tougher time getting videos out this spring just because I've been busier. I was out of the country for 10 days on a study abroad trip. So it's just been harder for me to keep up with the videos. But now that it's warmer, I'm gonna to try to do a lot more river fishing. I actually ran into a little bit of trouble river fishing recently. Um, Y'all may have seen that on a couple other people's Instagram that I was fishing with. I may talk about that more on the channel here coming up soon, but nonetheless, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for some more content. I'll probably have some more Lake Lanier videos coming out this spring, but I will definitely be hitting some rivers and doing a lot of river bass fishing as well. So. Make sure to stay tuned for that. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you all on that next video. Thanks for watching.